All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Really excited to do this video with you guys today with our Audi RS5 Sportback. Uh, picked it up last week, actually got it delivered. This is my new daily driver. To think a year ago I'd be able to have this car uh, as a daily driver, I would have never guessed it in a million years. And uh, just went to our local dealership, kind of wanted to get some numbers on some cars to possibly get, um, local Audi dealership. And then from our group online, our BST group, I put a post out saying I'm looking for a 2021 RS5. At the time I was looking for a coupe. Um, and I put it out there, had some people, some dealers looking for it. Tim Hayes from Napleton out in Illinois um, was able to locate the car. I can't endorse Tim any higher. Um, five star review, absolutely fantastic guy to deal with. He was the only one who was able to locate this car in this spec. Uh, this is the exact car, once I started doing a little bit of research, that I want it in Glacier White. There were some other dealers out there and uh, salesmen who were trying to locate this car for me and they were finding a lot of other colors. And I want to thank them as well for their time and efforts. Uh, but really, Tim Hayes was able to come through with an incredible deal for me. Uh, he was able to beat how much money was down on our um, car here compared to our local dealer and he was able to beat our monthly payment um, significantly more than some of our uh, local dealerships. So this car, like I said, is 2021 RS5 Sportback and it's also got the black optic uh, package which we're going to go through um, and kind of go over what is all involved with that. Usually, I'm a chrome guy, I love my carbon fiber, but for whatever reason, this car drawn a lot of uh, interest from me, drew a lot of interest from me, as I saw it with all the black optic package around it. All wheel drive, absolutely incredible to have a car with you know 444 horsepower and 440 pounds of torque. Um, as your daily driver, especially in Pennsylvania, it was kind of tough to really decide if it wasn't going to be this car for my daily driver, what I was going to go with. Um, I was looking at, you know, a Lexus and some other stuff, and I was really just all in on this car. And I was looking at the S5s as well. Um, but once I took, they had a 2019 on the lot at our local dealership. I took it for a ride. I said, that's got to be the car that I get. Um, so again, hats off to Tim Hayes from Napleton out in Illinois. We're gonna put his information in our about section. So you guys ever need um, to buy a car, you're looking to lease a car, whatever it may be, definitely, definitely give uh, Tim a chance to at least get some numbers for you guys because I was, I'm telling you, totally, totally blown away um, at what he was able to do for me. And I thank him uh, and his team out there tremendously. I've told him that multiple times. and. Every time I get in this car, it's a joy. Absolutely love driving it, the, the features in it. Um, never had an Audi before. Before this, I had uh, a Mazda 6. I had a BMW 5 Series, 3 Series, a Lexus um, years back. My first car was a 95 Ford Taurus, um, which the speedometer, as my buddies will, will know, didn't even work right. Um, so to have this right now, you know, really means a lot to me and is special. Uh, means more than even the cars that you guys see that we buy and sell because we don't get to drive those a whole lot. And uh, just, like I said, blown away. Where we've come in, in the last year, I would have never guessed I'd have this. And I, I say that in a humbling way. And it's just, uh, means a lot. And for you guys just to, you know, set some goals and put your head down, go to work and anything's possible. And with the help of Jeremy, who's behind the camera, it's just, again, really humbling experience. And, uh, really thankful for it all. So we want to take you guys around, uh, kind of show you guys the car here a little bit and its features. I think we'll start off first with the Black Optic Launch Edition. That's a $12,000 option and it is going to include your 20 inch five segment spoke design wheels that are in high gloss. There was also a, uh, I think it was like a five star flag wheel and those were silver. And that was the route I thought I was gonna go on this car at first. Um, they, those wheels just kind of looked 
really nice to me and, and with the RS model. Uh, but when Tim was able to send me this car and I saw it, the pictures even, I have to say, the pictures didn't do this car a lot of justice. It looks a lot better in person than it does in pictures. Uh, big fan of chrome wheels, like I said. But even our ZR1s, the black wheels, I think, you know, a lot of these cars are moving to the black wheels. And this particular car in this spec, those wheels, the black wheels, definitely help set this car off very nicely. You got 275 by 30 summer tires, both in the front and the rear. So again, 20s all the way around, and the width of those tires remain the same on all four corners as well. So many sensors on this car. You kind of see them here as Jeremy goes by. All the different camera angles will get you up to the front too, and you can check out that front grille that's all blacked out. Four hundred and forty-four horsepower. Again, it's bi-turbo, uh, four hundred and some pounds of torque, and it's crazy because it's got a, a split personality. You can use it as just a regular, average car, and then when you want to get on it, there's a lot of juice and power there for you to uh, accelerate. And the brakes on this thing were probably the, the first part of the car when I was driving it that I noticed. This thing handles and brakes well just as well as the Z06s we've driven, as, as well as the ZR1s, um, even the Golden Ticket GT500s. The brakes on this car are spectacular. It'll stop you on a dime. It's, it's absolutely mind blowing, really. You have the high gloss black exterior trim and mirror housings. The RS carbon matte inlays. The exhaust as well is an RS sport exhaust system. And it's pretty cool because it's, again, similar to a lot of the stuff we have in the sense that this car has got three different modes. You have an auto mode and then you have an RS1 or RS2 where the exhaust starts to get a little bit louder, it opens it up a little bit. Uh, reminds me of the ZR1s and also the GT350s that we've had where you can kind of toggle the switch to get a little bit more rumble. Same thing um, in this here. So it's really cool because like I said, I've never had a daily driver that was able to do um, anywhere near you know, what this car is capable of. I'm gonna show you guys the interior. You got the RS interior design package. At first, like I said, uh, I wanted to get red interior, but that's only offered on the S5. I did not know that the RS5s had standard interior like this, um, no matter what color you got. And it really is, it's so nice. I mean, not everybody knows that Audi's interior is one of the best, if not the best. And to me, a big feature that I wanted was the Alicantara steering wheel. It's got such a nice grip and feel to it. Very, uh, again, similar to our ZR1, my Matrix Gray has the same steering wheel, same shifter. The shifter here is Alicantara. Got the beautiful red stitching on the steering wheel, on the seats. You see the carbon fiber as well, and that's, that's a flat finish. It's not a glossy finish, which is different, but I really, really like that uh, because you see so many of them that are glossy. You have the Alicantara on the steering wheel as well, or I'm sorry, on the uh, doors here. And being in Pennsylvania, I needed something that was going to be good in the snow. And the Quattro system, from what I've read and what I've seen from some of my friends and what they've said um, and some research, you know, it's a fantastic car in the snow. And uh, anybody that lives in the Northeast knows that we've been getting enough snow up here lately. Now I'll tell you what, there's a lot of room really for anybody in the back, especially for how the car performs. We're used to getting cars that have no room at all. Um, and I have the seat all the way back here, so that's why it's you know, maybe a little bit tighter than, than most.
Got my snacks in the back, little pretzels. <laughs> the pat, or not the passenger, I'm sorry, the driver's seat, if you guys see here, is for a massage, a massage. and there's three different features um, that come up of different patterns and ways that you can get a massage from the seat with different intensities. Uh, comes right up on the um, screen. So here's, here's your home screen and you can see how on the left it's got your G meter for your G force, got your tack right in the center, speedometer right below it, um, what gear you're in. Also tells you how much power or torque you're using when you are driving. Um, some features here, like I said, you can do, the, do your phone, your volume, but this RS mode, if you click on that, you'll see right below where it says P, it's now RS1, opens up the exhaust a little bit, and then you can do RS2, which is the loudest, and it opens up a little bit more. I don't know if you guys can hear that from uh, the video, but it's definitely noticeable when you're in the car. You have your different drive selects. You can choose um, comfort, you can choose auto, or dynamic. Dynamic is your most um, sporty and what everybody seems to enjoy the most, especially with the paddle shifts. And then you have your RS mode one and two here and you can kind of click on that and you can adjust those as you want. RS mode two. I mean, there's just so much with this car. Like it honestly was very overwhelming for me uh, when I first got in it and try to learn exactly what was going on. Uh, so even with the vehicle, if you click on that, your different drive selects, as we showed, you also have your RS monitor, which is really neat. Uh, this reminded me a lot of the Hellcat Charger, Hellcat Challengers, where you can go in and kind of see uh, everything that's kind of going on with the car. There's your G meter as well, and then your tire pressure comes up. And then there's other stuff too. Uh, one of the ones people like is the light and visibility. You have interior lighting where you can choose, it shows you here, the different colors. I have it set up as red, but if you go through it, got like a little blue color, kind of a little teal, and you can kind of mess with how bright it is you want it. So really neat at night to uh, kind of mess around with that and brings out a little bit more color in the uh, interior lighting. And then there's just so much. You got driver's assistance, all the different things that you can uh, kind of do. And I was driving it today actually, and I went to turn to make a left and the car didn't think that I'd be able to make the turn um, in time and the car automatically braked for me, um, kind of threw me off. So there, like I said, there's just so much tech that's in the car that, you know, it's crazy. Um, even here, I mean, it's probably common on a lot of the newer cars now, but you can charge your cell phone right in there. And it's just, you know, little things that it's, you know, for a car nowadays to have some of this stuff, it's, it's crazy, but you're in here. It's very, very visible. That's uh, another thing that I noticed right off the bat. Like there's really not any blind spots. You have a nice wide windshield, even the sides here. Uh, passenger side and driver side you can kind of see out the windows really well uh, more so than a lot of other cars I've been in and driven before great stereo system um, HD radio clarity's you know fantastic and I have to say like there's really no complaints that I have um, so far with the car um, heated seats we used those the other night and they heat it right up fast didn't have to wait long at all and uh, like I said, there's, there's really no knock on the car that I have. You know, maybe when the snow comes, we'll see how it is at that time because it's gonna be a daily driver up here in Pennsylvania. That was, that was the thing. I needed something that I can use all 12 months of the year. Uh, the sport seats, awesome, incredibly comfortable, kind of contour to your back. Love the red stitching. Uh, like I said earlier in the video here, Audi is, is really well known for their interiors and uh, this car definitely does not disappoint in that regard. So we wanted to kind of give you guys a, a little rundown of uh, the Audi RS5 Sportback. I believe, don't quote me on this, that this is the first year where they made the Sportback. And we'll show you guys that real quick. It's starting to drizzle here a little bit, um, the trunk area.
Pentia, and he will definitely take care of you on your next vehicle.